Testing. Testing. Hello. Testing. Hey, hey. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Oh, we're good. Welcome to tonight's ball game between the Royal Blue Jackets and the Kevin Lewis Wildcats. If everyone wants to play sand, sorry, playing me. our national anthem by the Kevin Lewis Band, on the direction of Maria Reichsman. First, the uh, fifth team, Oil Blue Jack. Number double zero, Jace Tracy, Paul C. Number four. And we're back to start Sierra tonight's Jones. game versus the Lady Blue Jackets Number and the Kevin Douglas Lady Ashley Wildcats, Jones. the starters for Coil. Number 22, Lily Ritter. They got their warm ups on, and I kind of missed their numbers. The Lady Blue Jack are coached by Tom Webb. Joining me with me a little fashionably late. He's never late. The show doesn't get started without him, I guess. Fashionably on time is what I would like to say. Not fair enough. It's Bill and Doherty. Nice hat, by the way. Your starters for your Lady Wildcats is number three, senior Jory Kincaid. Senior number 10, Alexis Lovell. Junior number 20, Kelsey Kramer. Junior number 30, Sydney Haken. And senior number 34, Ellie Garcia. And senior number 34, Ellie Garcia. Can you hear me at all? Testing, testing, can you hear me at all? Okay. I just uh, flipped it all the way over to the left. Now the Lady, Lady Wildcats are coming off of a off of a pretty big kind of punk kind of tournament. They got third place. Yeah, you know, uh, played pretty well in it. Uh, now talk. Played pretty well in it. Uh, you know, did a good job closing that game out late. You know, went to overtime, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. Uh, did some really good things late and went on a run right at the end and, you know, sealed the dub and got the third place. Your starter for your Lady Blue Jackets, I wasn't able to say them earlier because they kind of have their, their warm-ups on, as uh, double zero, Gracie Ballsinger, number 22, Lily Ritter, number 23, Nalia McLaren, number 35, Courtney Bass, I believe number 14, Sierra Young. Lady Blue Jackets win the, win the jump. Ball being handled by number 14, Sierra Young. She kind of looks off there to her right being guarded by number 30, Sydney Aiken. And Sierra Young will take it herself. Be rebounded immediately by number 23, 
Nalaya McLaren, and she'll go up with the jumper for two. Yeah, that's a good shot right off the bat. You know, get the rebound. Once again, second chance points kind of killing us. Uh, looks like Quill's going to try to come out in a 3-2 zone. Kind of seen that hurt the Lady Wildcats just a little bit. They play de definitely play better against a man defense. Let's see what they can do tonight. A lot of Jory and Cake. He can start from the three-point line, as we've seen before. Number 30, Sydney Haken looked at it. Kelsey Kramer with the ball. Tries to work it down into number 34, Ellie Garcia. Foul will be called on number 22, Lily Ritter. It's a good job there by Ellie holding her ground, you know, making the defender go through her, and she draws a foul there with it. Who is that? Shot there by number 20, Kelsey Kramer. And that's a good for two. That's a great look. You know, I love that short corner look. Short corner shot. Coyle handling. Nalaya. Down to number 15, Ashley Kelly. That's the downside of, of a press. I mean, you yeah. see a lot of gaps open. Definitely is, and especially when you've got three players up front and two in the back, and it's a three it's a three on two, essentially, if they get it past half court. You know, you're just kind of hoping that you get the steal before then. Another foul call, Kelsey Kramer going to line of shoot two. She'll make the first one. And the second one with the shooter's roll will be good. Lady Wildcats back out in the full court press. And ball poked out. Number two, Alexis Love will start going the other way with it. And she'll get out to number 30, Sydney Haken. Sydney Haken with a nice little move. Alexis Love for three. We missed. Kelsey Kramer will go back up with it, and she'll miss. I think she got blocked by Ellie on that one. Yeah, I think she did, too. <laughs> Malia McLaren with the rebound. Start going the other way, and she'll be called with a carry. I don't know if you got to hear, but the band is back. Was back. And yeah. the band sounds phenomenal. I was really surprised when I walked in and saw them. Um, you know, they were, they were playing a little bit before the game, you know, just because of pregame music, pregame tunes, you know. I was... Uh, couldn't even hear in here. It's a great atmosphere for it. Big three by number 20, Kelsey Kramer. That'll be seven for her in the first quarter. You know, we've talked about Kelsey Kramer a couple of times this year about how she went off in a couple of games late. And uh, she's got off to a hot start. Yeah, definitely. I'd keep feeding her right now. With five minutes and 45 seconds left, the score is seven to four. Lady Wildcats with the lead. Sierra Young handling the ball. Back out to Nalia McLaren. Back, ball back down to number 14, Sierra Young. And she'll go up for two. That might be the first left-handed player that Covington's seen all year now that I'm thinking about it. And number 14 from Coyle. You might be right. It is just a oh nice ball fake there by Sydney Hake and gets the wide open look for Ellie. Hey, you gotta fake one to get one. Oh yeah. Love it. Cole will start handling the ball. Malia McLaren trying to get the ball to Sierra Young, but great defense there by Sydney Aiken. They'll start going the other way with a two-on-two, -two and she'll get her away from the layup. Hey, seeing a dip, just a little bit of a different Wildcat team tonight. Hey, coming out aggressive, you know, uh, making plays. The ball movement is better, uh, taking care of it better. I mean, just everything so far has been amazing on point for the Lady Wildcats tonight. Just got to get an offensive re or defensive rebound. <laughs> right, right. You can't give up three offensive boards. And yeah. Expect to win very many ball games there. Sydney Haken bringing the ball up to Lady Wildcats. Number three, Jordan Kincaid looks at the corner three, and why not? Yes, sir. You know, if, she's, if they're going to let her shoot it, I mean, she, she's got to pull that, obviously. Yeah, she did, and she sunk it. They gave, they gave her a lot of room there. Oh, yeah. Take a charge here, Ellie. Sierra Young. Sierra Young driving with a purpose there. Yep. And she'll be fouled. She'll line to shoot two. 
Yeah, she's pretty nice with it. You got pretty good ball handling skills. Some of the shots she's put up uh, have looked really good, actually. And I, it's kind of surprising yeah. the way it's coming out of her hand, but it's just lefty. It, it looks good. And weird. by the way, she's right handed. She's right handed? Watch. She's shooting the ball right handed? She's shooting the ball right handed. She has dribbled left. She's shooting with both hands on the free She's throw. shooting with the right hand. Shooting both. It's definitely right dominant, though, I will agree. That's crazy. Every shot she's put up so far has been left handed. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right, left handed layup. <laughs> yeah. She had that little kind of jumper where she kind of pushed it up with her left hand. Cindy Haken with great defense coming from the back end, and she'll get her layup. And she'll miss. Those are, those are the bumps that we got to have. Oh, yeah. Rebound there, Ellie Garcia. Cindy Haken going to the other end. It's a good box out by Jory Kincaid on that one. Let Ellie get the wide open bump. Kelsey Kramer. Sierra Young out to double zero, Gracie Balsinger. Gracie Balsinger handling the ball down there, 22. Lily Ritter back out to 23 in the line of the plan. Mm. And they will get the 100 percenter. I like the take there by, by Sydney. She was kind of patient there. The hole was there. Sierra Young with the rebound start going the other way for the Cole Blue Jackets. Once again, another left-handed attempt. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> it's, it's confusing me right now. And a Dexter to the max. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Goliath going to the line to shoot two. Got a three-man crew tonight. Love to see it. I didn't even notice that until you mentioned it. I, can't, I don't know who that is under the basket. It looks like... Do you know who that is under the basket? Yeah, well he, we've, we've had him quite a bit, and I thought you knew him. That's not Dakota Martin. I know he looks like Dakota Martin. Looks like uh, Mackenzie Styles from Hogsburg is what it looks like. Yeah. I don't know. I can't tell. I mean, that's what it looks like. Malaya, the jumper. She'll get her own rebound and looked into taking it in herself again out to Sierra Young. Sierra Young for three with the right-handed three-pointer. Smooth. In rhythm. It's a good skip pass. With two minutes left, the score 17 to 11. Lady Wildcats with the lead. Jordan K to Kelsey Kramer. Kelsey Kramer for three. And she'll miss and she'll grab her own rebound and Sierra Young will strip it from her. Sierra Young will start going, going to the other end. She'll get her move, and nice move. So we're gonna have a jump ball. Call foul jump ball. Jump ball. Jump ball. I like the call there. I like the jump. Yep. I thought she was gonna get away with it. She had three people on her, and right. she got tied up at the end. Kelsey Kramer, Sydney Haken, Sydney Haken for three. And that'll be good. Play well, catch shooting the ball very well right now. Hopefully they can keep it up. Score, yeah, at this pace, they're on pace to score 80 points. Yeah. 20 to, 20 to 11 with a minute 15 left. Ball will remain in Coral's possession. Did you ever play Coral in basketball? I don't think we ever did. Um, I think we might have played them once and like, because they started coming to the Mall Hall tournament. Um, towards the end of my uh, high school career. I got you. Malaya for two. Lady Walcott start going the other end with it. And Cindy Aiken will draw the foul. I mean, she got down the court and everybody's back was to her, so I mean, can't fault her for taking it there. Yeah, absolutely. Lexus Lovell looked at it. Pump fake, she'll get to the free throw line. Miss, rebound there by Michaela Chartier. Skip out to Jory Kincaid. Jory Kincaid back to Lexus Lovell. Lexus Lovell for three. Miss off the front of the rim. 
No worries, comes from Kramer there. She's there to clean it up. Uh, she I didn't know is, what I wanted to say with that. She is uh, coming out firing. 12 points, 35 seconds left to go in the quarter. 22, Lady Wildcats 13 foil. And Sierra Young will get to a lot of shoot too. And that'll be the third foul, number 22, for uh, Coyle. 22 seconds left here in the first. Lady Wildcats probably going to opt for the last shot here. Unless yeah. you get a wide open Kelsey Kramer. And then... Hey, I, I like the shot take. I mean, shot yeah. in rhythm, you got to take it. Right. You're just under five seconds left, 22-14. Sierra Young looks like she'll take the last shot with the step back. And she'll miss, and that'll be the end of the first quarter. The score is 22 to 14. Lady Wildcats in the lead, and we'll be back. And we're back here for the beginning of the second quarter. It'll be Coral's possession. If you're Lady Wildcats, you gotta keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. They've got great ball movement. They're getting open looks. They're not really taking any contested shots. Defense has been pretty solid. I'd like to see them rebound just a little bit better. Um, but other than that, they're playing really well. They're playing really good D. Handling the ball now for Coyle is Gracie. Gracie to Sierra. Sierra Young handling the ball. You're right, I don't know if she's left-handed or right-handed. She wants that ball in her left hand at all times. See, that's what I'm saying. You know, she's dribbling the ball to the left hand, shooting layups with her left hand, and then she's shooting right-handed. It just doesn't, I, I can't figure it out just yet. So my back thing, the quality player. Lady Wildcats don't want to give anything easy here. Shot there by number 23, Nalaya. And that'll be good for two. No one comes out on Sydney and she'll take the shot. Why not? Rebound there, Sierra Young. Sierra Young bringing the ball up for Lady Jackets. And She'll miss the layup and rebound. Lady Jackson will go back up, and Sydney Haken will go with a two-on-one break. Likes here maybe go up a little softer there with her left hand. Yeah. Sierra Young, left side. With six and a half minutes left to go in the first half, scores 22-18. Coral's definitely cut the lead. And hopefully Lady Wildcats can do something to regain the lead they had. Coral in a man defense this time. Switching up just slightly better. You know, we've already talked about our uh, how I feel like the Lady Wildcats do better against a man anyways. So we'll see what they do here. Defense, 
Goliath. And with the floater. That'll be good score, 22 to 20 with five minutes and 50 seconds left on the first half. Ellie Garcia getting ready to check in to go in the ball game. That was a very heads up play by, by Mikhail Chartier there. I don't know if you saw that yeah. or noticed it. That was very heads up. It yeah, was a good job. Very, very impressed. Even better look by Jory Kincaid to get it down low to Mikhail Chartier yep. for two with five minutes and 25 seconds left. The score is 24 to 20. Lady Wildcats in the lead. Gracie handling the ball for Coyle. She'll get it out to Sierra. I just, I feel like I'll be calling Sierra's name a lot out this game. Oh yeah. A lot of saving going on. Sierra Young ends up with the ball after all. Malaya with the sh jumper. Rebound, Dory Kincaid, and will be knocked out by Coyle, and Lady Wildcats will regain the possession. I know I was very heads up there by Michaela Chartier. If you saw she was sliding, she didn't pick up the ball. She knew that was being considered a walk. Yeah, you know, she waited toward, towards kind of the end of the slide, and then she found somebody, picked the ball up, got it out. You know, it's a great job. Good hustle play. And an even better shot there by Jory Kincaid as she found Michaela Chartier down low, yep. wide open. Too bad Michaela Shark here, can't dunk. Would have been nice. True. <laughs> it's very true. I expect Cameron Smith, if he gets something like that, to really kind of throw it down. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If he doesn't, then he's going to hear about it from a few people, I imagine. <laughs> kind of hope to get to hear the band again here after a bit. I really did enjoy the band performance. Yeah, they did great with the national anthem. You know, like I said, they were playing a little stuff before. I mean, they they school have song, uh, they kill the school song. You know, they went from not having one to having one, and then have gotten better somehow. <laughs> They're pretty good. Turnover. Chelsea Kramer with the steal. And the walkouts kind of go to the other end, and you see Alexis Lovell. Let's slow back out to Sydney Haken. Nice look by Sydney Haken. And Ellie Garcia will be fouled. She'll go to line of shoot, too. Wildcats soon section alive and well tonight. Oh, yeah. They've, they they've, done, they've done well this year so far. First free throw is good. <laughs> rebound there by Alexis Lovell. Nice heads up. Rebound there by Mikhail Chartier. Couple rebounds. Let's hear go right back up. I would. Ellie Garcia for three. That is not something I think we've seen out of her ever. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. I uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that. That might be the first three-point attempt we've ever seen Ellie Garcia put up. <laughs> Wasn't bad either. Foul there on Alexis Lovell. And that is going to be her second. Jordan Kincaid will check in the ball game. Great defense there by Cindy Haken. I don't yeah. know if you kind of saw that. They kind of stopped, she kind of stopped the initial pass. Cole didn't know kind of where else to go with that ball. Yeah. Initially, they wanted to go to Sierra Young. Right. With four minutes left to go in the half. Score is 25 to 20. Lady Wildcats in the lead. Um, nice pick and roll. The way you draw it up in practice, the yes. way you practice it time in and time out, worked to perfection. Oh, yeah. Love to see it. That's about as fundamental basketball as it gets. Carrie will be called there. 
On number 30, Sidney Haken. Sierra Young, getting out to Gracie. Gracie, from the ball back out to Sierra. Getting back out to Malaya. Moving screen will be called there. I kinda saw that one from about a, oh yeah. From about a mile away. Lady Wildcats going to their offense here. Oof. That was, a, that was a long shot, but I get it. It was yeah. there for a split second and closed, closed down real quick. Right idea. You know, you hit a money ball on one a second ago. You want to go back to it so bad. Got a jump ball call there. We're going to have a timeout here called by the Lady Wildcats. We're going to take a quick timeout ourselves. And we're back after that timeout. I think for Coach Austin, you're just kind of settling your girls down a little bit. Yeah, you know, they gave up a pretty good run to open up the uh, second quarter, came back and, you know, uh, stopped it and, you know, increased the lead to back to seven. So they did a good job settling the game down, getting back to their pace, and they've been doing well since. So just got to keep with it. You know, three second in the lane call there. And the turnover. With two and a half minutes left to go in the first half, the score is 27 to 20. Lady Wildcats with the lead. Lady Wildcats in the full court press. Ball out to Gracie. Back out to Lily. Lily handling the ball being guarded by Kelsey Kramer. Good job there by Jory. Gracie for the three. The ball be tipped. No, I didn't think the so. The ball was not tipped. No. The ball was not. Let me correct myself. The ball was not tipped. We'll stay here in Wildcat possession. We'll let there's a timeout called. Be a 30 second timeout, so we'll stay on the air. All right, I was wrong then. I was wrong. I don't openly admit that very often. That I'm wrong. What? Said so I don't openly admit that I'm wrong very often. Yeah. <laughs> so, so definitely take that for what it's worth. I know you said that, and I was like, oh, I didn't see it. Maybe you're right, but. <laughs> yeah, no, I just don't know. Feet, feet, feet weren't set and weren't facing the basket. Kind of when the shot went up, I think it threw it off a little bit. Sydney Haken handling the ball now for Lady Wildcats. Skip across to Michaela Chartier. Kelsey Kramer looks to drive, keep back out to Sydney. Sydney out to Michaela. You can tell Michaela wants no part of that three ball. No, and that's perfectly fine, you know. 
Just go crash the board so when the shot goes up, it'll be perfectly fine. Nice look there by Sidney Haken and a shot there by Ellie Garcia. The shot will miss. Gracie handling the ball for Coyle. Sydney Hagen will get the ball and start going the other way with it. No numbers, but they leave it wide open from three. Why not? Just under a minute left. The score is now 30 to 20. A minute left to go in the first half. Lady Walkout stay in the full court press, which I like. Sierra Young bringing the ball up for Coyle. Got to cut off the left hand there. Gracie for three. And she will bank it in. No, two. Foot was on line. I apologize. Huh. They called it a two? Yep. Okay. Mikenna Chartier open for three. Number 20, Kelsey Kramer with the fake, and she'll get the floater. Be no good. And Cole will get the rebound and the timeout. With 17 and a half seconds left to go, the score is 30 to 23. Lady Wildcats will take a quick break before we come back. And we're back, 17.3 seconds left. I love the lady walk up to the state in full court press here. Mm. Nalaya. Ooh, that ball bounced on the line, he got it. He's right on it. Lady Wildcat's gonna get the last shot here with 11.2 seconds left in the half. Who shoots it? Just Anybody, it. honestly, everybody's shooting pretty well. Yeah, you're right, but it looks like Alexis Lovell. Uh, the ball will be sailed over with 2.9 seconds left. Coyle will take it, but Lady Walk out to stay in the full court press, which I like. Julia Gregg putting, getting put in here, probably for Sydney Haken, I believe, or Alexis Lovell. I kind of thought Sydney Haken, so you don't kind of get a chief, chief one here. Well, I think, um, you know, Alexis Lovell's got two fouls, too, right. so you don't want to pick up her cheap, easy third, or, you know, right before the thing. You know, uh, Sydney doesn't have a foul yet, so not right. that, not the end of the world. But it won't matter. Yep, and that'll be the end of the first half. The score is 30 to 23, and we'll be back in about 10 minutes.
And we're back ready to start the second half of the Lady Blue Jackets and the Kevin Douglas Lady Wildcats. Scores 30 to 23 for anyone that's just now joining us. You know, the, the Lady Wildcats started off really hot. They were having a hard time missing. They get on a nice little lead. And, you know, the Lady Blue Jackets kind of come back and kind of cut down that lead. And they actually cut it down to within two. And right before half, Lady Wildcats kind of extended it up to seven. Yeah, yeah, good first half, especially a good first quarter. I mean, for the Lady Wildcats. Um, slowed down a little bit since then, but still hold a seven-point lead going at half. So, I mean, doing good things. I think the first shot was missed, I believe, out of bounds on Coyle. Lady Wildcats. It was a there. double dribble or double a carry, dribble. one of the two. Uh, Kelsey Kramer for three, and she'll miss long. Coral out to Sierra. Sierra out to number 22, Lily. Lily handling the ball. He stripped. Was that called jump ball, right? Yes. Jump ball will go back to Lady Wildcats. Oh, I'd like to see uh, Alexis Lowell take a little harder look at the basket there and maybe shoot that one. Jordan Kincaid for three, and she followed her shot, almost get her own rebound. I like Ellie Garcia get, getting in there, kind of using her body to make her way in. She'll miss the shot. Lily was Lily with the rebound for Coral out to Sierra. Sierra Young being guarded by Sydney Haken. Young getting the ball down to... Number 23, Malaya. Rebound Sydney, start going the other way. No numbers, but don't tell her that. Oh, got to tip the ball there. Good ball movement. If that shot goes in, that's just some, some of the most beautiful. Yeah. I mean, they circled the key. They got it in low. It was a kick out. I mean, they did like literally everything right there. Nice move by Sierra there to get herself inside the paint. Oh, yeah. Good move by Jory. Right idea there, just couldn't make it happen. Sierra Young. Good rebound there by Ellie. We'll get out to Sydney. Kelsey Kramer handling the ball. To Lexus Level. And Lexus Level has a good idea. Ball just kind of got knocked away. We'll stay with Lady Wildcats. I thought Kelsey Kramer was going to go just absolutely wide open underneath the basket there for a second. Sydney Hagen will get to go shoot two. Kind of a little bit slower start here to the second half than we had the first half. First half came out guns a blazing. I mean, threes, jump shots. I don't think there was any layups. It was just shooting by both teams. First free throw will be no good. Nice rebound by Alexa Level. Just gets blocked right there. Malaya for two, that'll be good. For four minutes and 45 seconds left, the score's within three, 30 to 27. Lady Wildcats haven't seen a point yet this quarter. 
So they can change that. Drop down there to Ellie Garcia. Chelsea Kramer for three, and she'll miss. And rebound, Jordan Kincaid, she'll go back up. She'll go to the line and shoot two. That's a good job, getting the rebound, going immediately back up with the basketball. You know, a lot of people will get that rebound and bring the ball down, and then you're just in trouble. So it's a good job by her, staying straight up, going right back up with that. Um, um, Ellie Garcia's last, you know, I wouldn't mind kind of seeing her, you know, get, getting the ball in and not taking the dribble. Yeah, you know, you, you'll, you get kind of caught up sometimes with that. and uh, She just gets surrounded by so many She players. did, yeah, didn't it? And, 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 yeah, yeah. Score remains 30 to 27. Nice block by Ellie, but will be saved by Nalaya. Nalaya for two. Score 30 to 29. Coach Dalton probably getting a timeout here pretty quick. I assume. Nalaya with the rebound. And she will get two. Yeah, and there's the timeout. Score is 30 to 31 with three minutes and 54 seconds left. We will go to a quick break. We're back from that quick timeout. Forgive me if I keep sniffing up here. Bring up my allergies are, my allergies haven't been treating me the best. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's that time of the year, which it's really not that time of the year. It's just that time of the year because the weather's weird. Yeah, so. it is weird. <laughs> the wind blowing and it being warm, like, it just wasn't, wasn't very good. Right. Big shot there by Ellie Garcia. 32-31 with three minutes and 32 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Sierra being blocked by Ellie. Shoot. Rebound there by Kelsey Kramer. I got numbers. Cindy Haken. She does have numbers. She likes Ellie Garcia down there. Nice pump fake, and she'll get two. I kind of thought she was about to. She, she might have got the end one. Uh, I mean, it was close. If, if they would have called the foul, it would have been on the floor, right. but. Oh, uh, fair. Sierra Young for a deep three. Rebound, Kelsey Kramer. Ooh, take care of it. There you go. They're going to get a uh, ball. Be go out of bounds. Two minutes and 44 seconds left. The score is 34 to 31. Lady Wildcats in the lead. And you hear Coach Donaldson right there telling them not to give up that left hand. I mean, they, you know, I mean, it was a kind of a ball screen, but you got to take away the left first, make her dribble right. You know, we haven't seen a whole lot of right hand from her tonight. And, and it's weird because I don't know if I want to see the right hand. I mean, we see her shoot with the right hand. You know, I, it definitely seems like shooting is going to be right-handed. Layups are going to be left, and dribbling is going to be left. So you got to kind of learn that as the game goes on. Here's what we're trying to take away from her. Yeah, she might be able to dribble right-handed, but she's had a lot of success going left. So got to take that away. Yeah, but that's a guaranteed right there. 100% of the time going to be a foul call. Yep. Remain Cole's ball. Oh, 
Malaya for two. She'll shoot long and rebound Gracie. Gracie for three. And that'll all go in. Tie the ball game up. 34-34 with two and a half minutes left to go in the third. Okay, the Sharks here. I like the feed down low. I like the move by Ellie Garcia. Ellie Garcia going up. Absolutely. And getting the end one. Going line to shoot one. I love everything about that yes. one side progress. Yeah, absolutely. That was probably the best post move Ellie Garcia has made in her high school career, I think. I Good know. head fake. Right. You know, hesitation. You know, gets the spin move one-on-one. -on -one, strong with it. That's a great move. Great take. She's going to get the and one here. Absolutely. Was there, a, was there a technical we just missed? Um, it's going to look like that is the case, yes, on number 23, possibly, because uh, she just picked up another foul, it looks like. And that's number 23's fourth foul. You know, she's the Coyle's leading scorer, so, you know, there's a lot of ball game left. It's going to really hurt if they lose her. But you know what I'm doing if I'm Covington? Taking it out her. Trying to get that fifth foul, get her out of the game. Yeah, absolutely. And so that was going to be for the uh, was and one, one, right? And so, yeah, we're going to shoot technical shots here. She's going to get two of them, Alexis level here. First one will be good. Yeah, that's a, that's a big momentum change right there, too. You know, you're going to get a chance at six points and the ball. I mean, you know, they're going to end up with four points in the ball, but uh, or three points in the ball. But, uh, you know, th this is a chance to, you know, six-point swing right here in Absolutely. one possession. You want to build your lead on something like that. Sydney Haken. Let's give over to Michaela Chartier. Ellie Garcia. Like you, Ellie Garcia again. Ball just didn't fall her way. Yep. Gracie hit on the ball for Coyle. And I think we're gonna we're gonna see some more of that too with 23 guarding Ellie. Yeah, I completely agree. Big shot there by Gracie. Rebound. Cindy Haken will start going the other way. Got the dump down left side. Good look. Stay strong with it. We're Great job. Through. I agree. Good. That's a good pass there by Sydney, and uh, you know, good, good shot and, and rebound there by Ellie. Some of them notice Coyle hasn't subbed yet, have they? No, All they. I don't ball. think they have, but two or three players on the bench suited. Sierra Young got the prayer to fall. Yeah, I mean they've made some tough shots tonight. Yeah. Kelly Short here for three. Looked good. Yeah, that actually, that looked super smooth from where we were at. And that'll be the last foul, I believe. And she's going to go out of the game with six, I believe. she go out with a tail. No, that, was, that foul was on number 15. That was not even on number 23. And she just got a technical to send her out of the ball game. So the original foul wasn't on her. She thought it was, um, you know, picks up a technical on the way out, and she actually will foul out with that one. And that's going to foul out two players for Coyle. That's, uh, well, never mind. I'm sorry. I thought I saw a five next to number 15, but. Sorry, I was trying to listen to see what Coach was, was telling her. Oh, yeah. I was confused on what happened. Yeah. Yeah, and the foul was on number 15 um, as 23 thought it was on her to foul her out. It wasn't. So she actually was going to have four fouls after that. Um, picks up a technical on the way to the bench, gets her fifth, and now she's out of the game. Checking into the game now for Coral's going to be number 35. Courtney Bass. Good job there by Alexa stepping up, hitting both of those. And now we're just under a minute left. The score's 42-36. Lady Walkouts are already in the double bonus. I would take full advantage of this and keep building your lead. Yeah, and, and especially away with it. Yeah, I mean they just lost their best post player Coil did, so I'm I mean I'm feeding Ellie Garcia right here. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. yeah Ellie, Ellie Garcia should be able to kind of stack up some points here. 
She's a 13 now. And a pretty good spread night for the Lady Wildcats. You know, uh, Kelsey Kramer. She's got 13. She's got 13. Ellie Garcia's got 13. Sydney Haken's got eight. You know, uh, Alexis Lovell's done good here, hitting three out of four uh, technical shots. <laughs> so, you know, she's contributed very well in that respect. As we know already for Lady Wildcats, there's two, as we know, free throws are very vital. Yeah. And like you said, you know, they kind of fed Ellie there, and they're going to. There's yep. 24 seconds left. If you're Lady Wildcats, you don't want any dumb fouls right now. You just don't want to give them an easy bucket, right? Yeah, absolutely. This is going to end up being a jump ball, yep. The Lady Wildcat ball with 14.2 seconds left. The score is 44-36. Expect Lady Wildcats to hold for the last shot here. Unless he can get, get a wide open. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to turn down a wide open three ball, so. Four, three, two. Sydney gets a shot up. No good. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. Score 44-36. We'll take a quick break. And we're back for the beginning of the fourth quarter. The score 44-36. With eight minutes, well, beginning of the fourth quarter. Eight minutes per quarter. Fun little trivia fact there for anyone who does know. Look at the three. Out. That's a good take. I thought she was going to get all the way to the rack there. Had a good dish, too. Just stepped out of bounds. I want to apologize ahead of time if you can hear some static. We have our subside electronics man on the job right now. Um, can you hear? I can't hear. I don't know what just happened here. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. You Coming from yours. All right, Weird. sorry, we are back now. <laughs> you didn't miss a whole lot of action. Sierra Young just kind of went for the basket there, and it was like she'll go to line of shoot, too. Probably going to be called it on Ellie. Very temp temperamental electronics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First free throw is good. 
Second free throw is no good. Rebound Ellie Garcia. Ellie Walcott start going, going to the other end with it. Alexis Love will open for three, and she will miss. Rebound, Kelsey Kramer. And they'll feed it down to Ellie Garcia, and she'll kind of wait, work her way on in. Great turnover there by Kelsey Kramer. Knock it back down to Ellie Garcia. Got some numbers and, and she sees it. Oh, yeah, I like good the from shot. here. Yeah, it looked really good. My depth perception is off from, <laughs> from here. Most shots look good. <laughs> there's that right hand we were just talking about. Oh, it's a good charge. It's a good take. Jory King K checking into the ballgame with five minutes and 49 seconds left. The score is 44 37. Lady Wildcats in the lead. Nice move there by Ellie Garcia. She just kind of missed. Ball's on line. We'll start going the other end. Yeah, that's tough. I mean, got it. Good move, good luck. Just, just didn't go in. Wildcats get the jump. Lexus Lovell going to shoot two. First one is good. A lot of shots at it, but it looks like there's a push. We call Michaela Chartier. Yeah, she's just hustling for it, but you know. It happens. Yeah, 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 you can live with it. A walk, push, never mind. A block's going to be called there. Be called there against Kelsey Kramer. That'll be her first foul of the game, which is weird because she's a super aggressive ball player. Right. <laughs> That's unnatural. <laughs> Sierra Young with the floater, and she'll get it to fall. 45 39. Lady Wildcats with the lead with, 40, with four minutes and 55 seconds left to go in the game. Probably called it on number 15 for Coyle. Ashley Kelly. And she'll miss the first one. She'll make the second. And Sierra Young will get her way. Uh, I think she's going to try to take over in the last four and a half minutes of this ball game. I, I think you're right. Uh, she, only, she has two fouls. She has 17 points. Scored 46-41. They want to still lead Alexis Lovell. Mm, she good luck. Ellie Garcia. Short, 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 save short. That'll be going the other end. Yeah, you know, if if, uh, if I'm the Lady Wildcats right now, I'm probably going to double. Um, Sierra, right here. It's like triangle and two? Uh, pretty much, you know. We just um, always help on her here. Always helping for sure, but even double team, just get the ball out of her hands, and then you could rotate and get away and then deny it. But honestly, I'm not even letting her have the ball at the end, or I'm going to try not to. She's been too effective. 
Rebound there by Jordan Kincaid. Skip yeah. over to Chartier. You no good. With three minutes and 40 seconds left, score is still 46-41. And to walk up to the leads here, Young handling the ball. She'll stop and pop from the top of the key. Get another shot. Rebound by Ellie Garcia. I like the timeout here. You know, get them settled down for the last three and a half. You know, hit five point lead, 46 to 41 with 320 left to go in the ball game. And we will uh, it's a minute. go to a yep. timeout ourselves cool. too. And we're back with three minutes and 15 seconds left to go in the game. 46-41, Lady Wildcats with the lead. You know, I think something that Coach Donaldson iterated in the timeout is, you know, let's, let's move the ball around, let's get a good look, you know. They move the ball around, they got an open cut, and if she goes up, gets the foul. You know, it's, it's kind of what you want when you come out of a timeout is to run something successfully. You know, get what you want out of it. You think he emphasized that he's, that they're in the double bonus? There, yeah, you're, you're yeah, in you the double bonus. You, know, you don't have to score for the rest of this game. I mean, if you, I mean, it's you don't have to. So I mean, just take care of the basketball. We don't get in a running match with them because that's where you're gonna get in trouble. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Cindy Haken checking in with the ball game. Free throw Great. made. Yep, it's a good job by her hitting both of those there. They're big free throws. Three minutes left to go in the ball game. 48-41. Lady Walkouts in lead. Coyle looking to make something happen. Sierra Young. I'd compliment Sierra Young. She's been playing hard, playing fast all game long. She's patient with the ball. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun to watch. Yep, she's had a pretty good game. And here's that double bonus we were just talking about coming into effect. You know, and you got prefer, probably coming to the best free throw shooter on the line here, gonna, get, gonna go shoot two. She, you know, she shot both technical foul shots, and so uh, let's see what she can do with these. First nice. free throw, good. Down the first. 49-41. And you know, that's that's six solid points from the charity stripe tonight from Alexis Bubble. I believe six of eight from the free throw line tonight. It's pretty good. 50 to 41 with two and a half minutes left to go in the ball game. Getting Ellie Garcia in transition for the layup and it's what you want. Yeah, straight out of your point guard, Michaela Chartier too. <laughs> it's a great job by her of looking up and dribbling with the basketball, taking care of it. And a good job by Ellie running the floor there. And Sierra Young would want to shoot too, be foul there on number 30, Sydney Haken. And that is her third foul of the game.
Both free throws will be no good. Rebound, Sydney Haken will start going, going to the other end with two minutes left. Score 52 to 41. And if you're Lady Wildcats, you just. If they're going to let you hold the ball out, I mean, do it. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you got to put pressure on it. There's no need to go fast here at all. And I think that's exactly kind of what you see what the Lady Wildcats are doing here. Yep, and then, you know, if you can get that one-on-one -on -one with uh, Ellie Garcia down low. Great job kicking that back out, being smart with it. Double team came, and she got it back out and swung it back to the top of Sydney Haken. It's a great job. They're 30 seconds off the clock in this possession. They kind of got one there. She got a little lackadaisical with it, a little too comfortable. Kind of uh, fell asleep there a little bit. Got it, Almost got it stolen. So we have a timeout call here by Coyle. Expect this probably be a 30 second timeout. Yeah, and that's a that's a good time out there to talk to his girls and kind of figure out what they're going to do on defense here. Right now, it looks like it's going to be a full timeout, but we'll stay on, unless there's no commercials going on. So, everyone home gets to listen to us talk again. Yep. What? Everybody's favorite part about watching the basketball games online, right? Yeah, I think everyone just gets so prompt about that. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, we have, I, I think we got a fan on the message board. I think her name was Haley. She just, she says she just can't wait until she gets to hear Dylan on the Right, right. You know, on T V. You know, I, I watched some of the games at Pond Creek on here and there was no commentary at all. Oh, it was rough. <laughs> no, <laughs> it was rough. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I, I do enjoy hearing Coach Smith. Coach Smith yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it's he, he gives them these like these trivia questions. Right. Which I enjoy. Yeah. I enjoy it. I probably need to start doing some more trivia questions. I thought you said you were going to, like, game our first. Uh, I always I always say that. I just I forget to look some up. <laughs> so sometimes I just kind of think of them on my own. Right. You know. Was, uh, one we're, we're back coming at that timeout. I'm going to get a wide open look off the inbound. Great draw by Donaldson at the timeout. Hey. Go to the basket. Now with a minute 20 left, the Lady Wildcats, you know, you, you still want to play defense, right? But you don't want to get too. Yeah, and I mean, that's the thing, too, is they're not they're not even in the single bonus yet. So if you do end up fouling, it's not the end of the world, right? Right. Just don't want to give up a bunch of offensive rebounds, three-pointers. Uh, obviously, you don't want them to score, but you definitely don't want them to score while the clock is stopped. Yes. You know. And no need to rush here. They're not going to pick up full court. you got 10 seconds to get it across. Nice look there. Mm. She got a little bit too excited about it. She walked with it first. Hey, I like the look by Cindy Haken. I like the take. She kind of put the ball in the court maybe one time. Right. And just under 45 seconds left to score 54 to 43. Lady Wildcats on the lead. I was expecting that for your Lady Wildcats kind of back up here. No need to get a silly foul. Yeah, and uh, Coral, not, not really a sense of urgency here. Yep. You know, the, the bench players from Coral coming in and rebounding very well. <laughs> Sierra Young, she'll go to, she'll try to get one. And now you are just under 10 seconds left. Score 54-43. It's almost safe to say, go ahead and chalk this W in for Lady Wildcats, and they will run it out to the end of the ball game. And your final for tonight's Lady Wildcat versus the Blue Jacket ball game is 54 to 43. Join us in about eight to 10 minutes, and we will get the boys' action ready. <laughs> 